more than support you as you sit and stand. They also contain stem cells whose job it is to become other specialized cells when your body needs them. Bone marrow stem cells are collected through a procedure called a bone marrow aspiration. Before the procedure, patients are usually given medicine to help them relax. During the procedure, a physician numbs a small area on the back of the hip and then inserts a needle into the hip bone to withdraw about six tablespoons of bone marrow. The bone marrow is then processed in a laboratory to separate out the stem cells. The laboratory prepares the cells to be put back into the heart just a few hours later in the cardiac catheterization laboratory or cath lab. The procedure to put the cells into the heart is very similar to a balloon angioplasty. A cardiologist makes a small cut in the upper thigh or possibly the arm and then a catheter is inserted into the artery and threaded to the heart. The cells are then introduced into the heart through the catheter. The research scientists are hopeful that the stem cells will improve the blood supply to the heart and the heart's ability to pump blood. Recent research has shown that when stem cells are placed in an ailing heart, it is possible for these cells to change. They may become heart cells and also encourage other cells in the same area to become new heart cells as well. It is also possible that some of these stem cells may help create new blood vessels that would be used to deliver blood to the heart muscle that needs a new supply to stay strong. For the first time in the United States, one man's heart has saved has been saved by his own stem cells. Linda Hurtado takes us behind the scenes in the lab that saved his life and shows us the future of stem cells repairing arteries throughout the body. This is the lab. And these are the stem cells that are changing medicine. And this is the man who started it all. John Christie. He is the first person in the United States to have his own bone marrow stem cells injected into his heart to save his heart. All you are doing is giving back to yourself what you already have. This Vietnam vet was suffering from severe coronary artery disease. I'm just thinking you're getting old, you know, these things are happening, you're just tiring out and getting weary bones. I felt tingling. My legs had been swollen a little bit. In one procedure, cardiothoracic surgeon Joseph Wu at the University of Pennsylvania School of Medicine is taking science from bench to bedside. After five years of research in animals, he is now retrieving stem cells from John's bone marrow and using them to grow blood vessels around the heart. They form brand new micro blood vessels and deliver blood flow to the heart muscle. He started the first U.S. trial where stem cells are harvested during surgery, prepped, and then reinserted back into the patient's own heart. Results for Mr. Christie were seen almost immediately. I noticed like in two days after my surgery that I had a lot more oomph. His only wish? That science was working faster. He lost his wife to heart disease one year ago. I wish maybe that she could have had this. Inside the lab where stem cells are saving lives. Taking action for your health, I'm Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News.